Don Campbell here from Expand to Web, and today I'd like to show you a little trick um, that I learned. If you're doing any SEO work, uh, you have to be aware that Google is now customizing your search results. So it's watching your behavior, and when you type in a search query, um, it's it's sort of tracking that and it's trying to customize and personalize those results based on what it's seen you do before. So here's a good example. Here's a search term that I've been working on for a little while. It's called it's WordPress website. So if I go and type that into Google and look at the top results, the natural results, you'll see that here I am at number one, which is um, very exciting for me, and number two actually too. And then you'll also see that I've got another result here, number four. So that looks all exciting. Now the thing is though, uh, if I look up here you see I am logged in and Google is personalizing these results so the way that you get around that and you know I obviously want to see the results that everybody else is seeing um, so one way you can do that is over here on the right hand side you might see this link it's not always there um, but it says view customizations when you click on this link you can also say hey I want to look at this term without those search improvements now if I do that, you'll see that I'm not really the number one result that everyone sees. I am here at number four, which I'm excited about because this was kind of a hard one to rank for, but number one is somebody else. And so it's important for me to know exactly where I'm showing up when other people are searching for me. Now the other thing I've noticed is you don't always see this view customizations link in here. Now if you don't see that or if you want to be absolutely certain that you're seeing only these customized I mean the non-customized results. What you can do is you can add this little string to the end of the, the URL. So when you do the search, then this URL shows up in, in the top of your browser and you just go to the end and put in ampersand PWS equals zero. And when I do that, I'm gonna get back the non-customized results. So two different ways uh, to make sure when you're doing your search queries, when you're, when you're checking for stuff, that you're seeing the non-customized results, so you're seeing what everyone else will see. So hopefully that was helpful. And if you're watching this on YouTube or on my blog, I'd really appreciate it if you would take a minute and just rate my video and, or, and give me some comments because I'd love to hear from you. So thanks a lot and talk to you next time.